Hello there. I thought I'd show you how to make an easel card. This is Showtime Anya, and when you fold it up, it says your turn to shine, and I think it's that's quite lovely. This card inspired me to make another one and make a tutorial of it. So I have started preparing layering a piece of decorated paper on a cardstock, and I have also prepared some of these different pieces. So it'll be just a little bit quicker to make. But I, I thought I'd show you how, how, I'm, how I've just learned to make these cards. I'm not a pro also. I just think it's fun to actually develop your own skills and start using different kinds of products and so forth. On this one I have used a little bit of string just to make it pop a little and break it off from all the cuteness in this card. Just tap that down. And I have cut down this circle and scallop circle with the spellbinder dies. I'm very, very fond of the spellbinder dies actually. So I'm looking forward forward to their, seeing their, all their new dies. And I'm just putting it here. Oh, it's a little bit different as you can see the string makes it a little bit difficult perhaps I ought to lift it up could be a good idea actually so and then I'm using this sassy Susie it's a stamp from from the greeting farm and it's a regular rubber stamp I have colored it with the promoca pens with different colors here and then I have put on some glitter and some 3D snow puff for that uh, for that jacket. I thought I'd put her here. like so and then I thought I'd go on with the decorating the flowers but I need to get some of my uh, no here they are actually I'm using glue dots to put these different kinds of flower flower arrangements and um, to this flower I have just used a rose and I have spun this uh, coil around a paintbrush and with this flower here can you see it I have used this Martha Stewart punch to punch out a brown or a light brown piece of paper just to give it some base and interest and let it lift on the card. And um, here's another punch that I have used with from Martha Stewart. And uh, this is a fern branch or something like that. Can you see? I mean, it actually disappears. Here it is. It's quite lovely. So let's see if I can make this work. I have had different kinds of glue dots before and they were actually excellent but these are so sticky you can hardly get them off this uh, paper. But you, but I have, what I have found out is that if you really rub that to your project it actually uh, comes off easily, more easily. And then I'm just putting a flower here and I'm trying to get these green coils in a shape that actually fits and makes the card more beautiful. I don't want them popping up and down everywhere. I'm just trying to make some kind of a pattern for them. And I'll just put that one there. As you can see it's really sticky and it it sticks to different parts and I'm not that happy with them so I'm definitely going to buy some new ones. Here's another rose. I don't like these at all. But one good thing of course is that when they are down they're really down. So now I have forgotten to put these down here. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to manage that. I think I'll have to figure that out one out later on. And I have also thought of putting a couple of buttons here. And I'm just trying to learn how to work with these beige sort of colours. Because usually I'm very fond of crisp and sharp colours. But it's quite fun actually to test different kinds of colours and combinations and so forth. And there's the other button. Is it like so? Let's try to put that one quite high up. And let's just get the one there. Let's see if I can make this stick, otherwise I'll have to use glossy accents or something later on. Right, I think I'll put a couple of more, more of those later on. When it comes to the card base of making this easel card, all you have to do is actually cut a piece of paper and make it a square. And I have used 14 centimeters, broadwise and lengthwise it's 28 centimeters. And then I have folded it in half, and yet again, the over part of the card I have folded in half, so that's seven centimeters. And what I need to do now is try to find a way to actually get this one mounted on there. And I must remember not to put glue on, on the whole piece of paper because uh, the top of part will be in the air, otherwise it will stick and make a mess of things. And I, won't, I won't be able to have that um, easel card function there. I think that's alright. Just try to tap that one down. You see, it's coming along, coming along, coming along, sorry for that, coming along nicely. And I have also prepared some inner pieces. I think it's quite fun actually now that I have learned to decorate the inside of the card as well. Because then you can get rid of your waste paper or leftover papers because otherwise you'll just have to, have to find a way to store those. Um, and I have been storing a lot of my scrap pieces and I'm really tired of them because I never can get them to be used, all of them. All the time I just keep... Yeah, I need some foam dots for these. Otherwise that one won't... I need to cut these. Sorry, coming back. I'm putting these foam tape pieces here because otherwise the easel mechanism won't function as well. You need something that is uplifted and so you can put the flap behind that. And I have uh, measured this to size so it fits from side to side. Easily done for me. Actually, I could go a little bit further down. It doesn't matter. And now you can see what I'm talking about. This makes it stick and stay in place so much more easily. And I have punched out uh, saying you are special. And this one comes from small hero arts wood stamps, wood mounted stamps. And I thought I'd just put this one here, your special. And I see the time is running out, but I think I'll go continue decorating with some half pearls and stuff such, and perhaps a little bit more, so perhaps I'll make another video of that. Thanks for now. Bye bye.